When I was broke, I couldn't go shopping. Now I just bought, don't need a stylist. Hey, that means it's on me, everything falling. Hey babes, it's Chanel and I'm back with another video that I promised y'all. In my last video, I did tell you guys that I was getting plastic surgery and I wanna show you guys everything that I'm gonna be taking with me or it's nothing to really take with me. It's stuff that I'll have here because I am doing my surgery in New York. So just gonna show you guys everything that I have for surgery, everything that you would need if you're getting lipo 360 and possibly a BBL. It's things that you'll need for BBL that I don't have like a BBL pillow. Um, some special sleeping stuff, things that I would not want to go through. It's just too much for me. So I'll show you guys everything that you'll need for LiPo 360. If you ever got LiPo and you see something that I don't have, please comment it down below. Let your girl know. I've done so much research. I consulted with my doctor with any supplements that you see over there. So they all been approved by my doctor. And yeah, I've done so much research. Again, guys, it's not something I woke up and decided to do. This is something that I studied for a very long time. So before I even get into this, give this video a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure your post notifications are on to all. And I pray that this video is helpful to some and that you know you guys can get some information. But let's get into it. The lighting will change a little bit because I gotta go further into over there. But stay tuned. I will go over everything I have. Nothing will be in any special order um i'm just gonna show you guys what i have so i do have some arnica tea so this is arnica tea i did get two of these if you guys don't know arnica is def is a natural plant that helps reduce swelling pain inflammation so you know obviously after liposuction you are going to be in pain um you're going to have some soreness some bruising and this decreases swelling bruising and pain so i did get two of these i plan on drinking it hot at night and in the daytime i will make some iced tea with um you know little strawberries and agave and make it just natural and and fun so i'll do iced tea in the day with arnica tea and hot tea at night so i got that then i have arnica tablet so my doctor did recommend this again this is pain relief it's a hundred percent natural this is this is all natural healing and mostly everything that you see here i got literally everything on amazon and in walmart and a couple things from dollar tree so i thought i'll, I'll say that so you know this is homeopathic medicine it's natural you could even find this at whole foods um it's it's just a natural ingredient natural supplement to reduce pain and swelling so I got that. Then I did go and get Benadryl Extra Strength. A lot of people said that, you know, their incisions would itch after liposuction because obviously, you know, when you get a cut or even me, I have my eyebrows tattooed. I just got my touch up and it itches, but I can't put anything on it. But so, you know, after you have any type of, you know, wound or anything, it does get itchy. So I did, you know, the research I did, they did, did recommend Benadryl. Then I did get a Neosporin Maximum Pain Relief. Um, this is just for cuts, scrapes, pain. You know, I will put this on every, maybe my incisions. Um, you know, I don't really know. It says 24 hour infection relief. So you do want to reduce infections. My doctor did prescribe antibiotics, but this is for pain relief and to reduce infections. So I will most likely put this on my wounds and incisions. Then I have hydrocortisone cream. This is the Equate brand. I saw it. It was cheap. And plus I have um, cortisone 10 already. So this is also an anti-itch cream. It's maximum strength. I don't even know which one works the best. But if I'm going to be itchy, I hear a lot of people get itchy in their faha. So I'm definitely going to be trying to do some type of anti-itch something. So here this is. 
Then I got bio oil. So this I got from Target. You know, Target has this. Um, basically, I seen a lot of women putting this um, on their stomach. It's great for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, dehydrated skin. And you know, in your fahas, you know, you want to prevent lipo burns. And you want to prevent faha burns. You want to prevent scars, stretch marks, things like that. So I will be putting this on my body. On my stomach and my back before I put on my tank tops and put on my faha. And I have Arnica gel. So as you guys see, I have the Arnica tea, I have the tablets, and I have the gel. So the gel is also it's the same thing. It is pain relief. I use this when I got my lip injections. It definitely reduced the swelling and it definitely was helping the pain. And I've heard must it, it reduces muscle pain, stiffness, swelling. So people like to use this during their lymphatic massages after liposuction. So I definitely will be using this after you know during my massage and whenever I even need it when I'm at home. I have two of these. Okay, then I have a antiseptic skin cleaner so the day before surgery and the day of surgery i am instructed to take a shower and i wanted to get a hospital grade soap so this is you know dermatologist tested it kills germs bacteria and this is perfect before you go into surgery dove did come out with an antibacterial soap and i found this at walmart which was dope because you know washing with antibacterial is going to be so important you know for at least the first month i would say just to prevent infections or until your wounds are completely healed it smells good i have a first aid antiseptic. Um, this is great for cleaning your incisions. Um, I actually found this out about watching a girl's video on how she cleans her lipo incisions. So she was using this with um, you know, cotton pads, cleaning it up, patching it with gauze pads to reduce infection. So I would definitely use this to clean my incisions. So speaking of incisions, I did get gauze pads. This is the best thing you can use for your incisions and I have medical tape and it's waterproof to keep those incisions protected and closed and then i got some cotton rounds so hydrogen peroxide you know you need this um it's great for cleaning out blood in your fajas um it's an antiseptic you can't go wrong with hydrogen peroxide and i also i'm in facebook facebook surgery groups and i did see people with this hemp oil it's a common relief so um people were saying that it helped the pain and helped keep their skin hydrated this and bio oil so i'll definitely be using more both it says works to soothe irritation increase hydration and improve your texture and radiance which is so important after liposuction i also got a thermometer because it is i haven't have I, I probably haven't had a fever since i was a baby but um you you know this is just important you want to just be checking yourself you know after surgery again i'm not really going into general anesthesia um so that's a plus but you definitely want to monitor your your fever levels you know through the like night make sure you don't have a fever i have more antibacterial soap i got this from the dollar store it smells good let's talk medication so um my doctor did prescribe some strong painkillers and antibiotics which i will take after surgery but um it's important to try to get off those strong pain medicines within the first 48 hours because they are addictive so i did get tylenol pm which should help with pain and you know help me to get through the night and sleep so i'm definitely going to be taking that I, I haven't had a tylenol since i was like in high school <laughs> i do not take medication i love to go the natural route but I am going to be in pain and I don't think it's enough natural shit in this world to help me with that pain. So I have Tylenol Extra Strength. So this should help, you know, once I get off those strong pain meds, I'll be switching over to Tylenol. A lot of people never took the doctor's pain medicine. A lot of people were saying they just took Tylenol, but my pain tolerance is low and I don't even want to play myself. So I'm just going to listen to the doctor. I'm just gonna listen okay so then I found this in um, the dollar store this was cool because I think it's a great way to manage your your medications you can you know you see what you need Sunday morning noon night and you know around the clock I like that I'll definitely be using this so that I stay on top of my pill I did find these hill fast vitamins on Amazon um, they have good reviews and a lot of people in the surgery group that I found on Facebook a lot of people was taking this so I do have the pre-op vitamins and I do have the post-op vitamins so 
So um, you take the pre-op five days before your surgery. I take eight a day. And after surgery, I take 10 of these a day. So these are completely natural. They're physician formulated. Um, a plastic surgeon actually was a part of creating this vitamin. And a lot of plastic surgeons do recommend this. It's great for pre-op and post-op healing, um, surgical and injury support. So it has vitamin A, C, D, B, it has zinc, magnesium. It has probiotics, so you'll be on antibiotics. It's really just setting your body up, you know, to perform and heal properly before and after surgery. I did get a lymphatic drainage. This is a liquid herbal. So basically a lot of people that I seen took this to drain their lymphatic system. So you guys do know after liposuction, your lymphatic system will just be out of whack. Um, so I definitely will be taking, I think you take about 15 drops of these a day, 15 to 20 drops a day in some water. Um, twice daily and this helps drain your lymphatic system i'll be getting massages i have about 20 massages booked so i'll be taking this with my massages i'm taking vitamin c i've been taking vitamin c this has a thousand milligrams so i always take vitamin c no matter what but this is great to build your immune system prevent infections and promote healing i've been on my multi woman's multi organic i've been taking these before surgery wait this is just a part of my routine but i am gonna hold off on these while i take my uh post-op vitamins i'm just switching off now to my pre-op and post-op vitamins because you know i don't want them to interfere have too much vitamin levels and i have melatonin so melatonin i will be using this to help me sleep I actually took like two of them the other night and i had the best sleep of my life i don't even take like stuff like this i just fall asleep but i took some melatonin chow and that shit felt good okay so um you know if certain nights i can't sleep i'm in pain or whatever i'll just pop some melatonin and i'm gonna sleep okay okay uh, then i got some cocoa butter, y'all already know cocoa butter. Like, come on, who don't know cocoa butter? Like, this is gonna be for my incisions once they start to heal. My doctor already puts the incisions in great places, and I'm not lying about surgery anyway, but who wants holes on their body? So I'm gonna be using this, you know, on my incisions to help, you know, help the scars. I got some black sheets for my bed. So, you know, you do drain out, you know, within like the first 48 hours, you'll be draining fluid, little bloody looking colors. So you know, it's lots of fluid draining. So you don't want to have white sheets. I always use white sheets on my bed. So I'm going to be switching to black. So just to, you know, protect, you know, just protect my bed. Protect my sheets. Um, I did get me some black medical grade compression socks. I got these on Amazon. My doctor obviously will provide um, compression socks. But I definitely wanted to have a pack just in case mine's get dirty. You know, you're draining. Things like that. And compression socks are great. They prevent blood clots promote circulation in your legs which is important so i'll definitely have that they get measuring tapes because you want to measure your waist before surgery while you're healing after you're completely healed just to just to see like what's going on if you're losing waist sizes and things like that then i have some flushable cleansing wipes so you know you can't shower for a couple days so i think some cleansing wipes is good for down there um and just period i heard that people just like it like it's just easier than toilet tissue when when you're in the part how you kind of swollen i don't know that's what people said i'm just fine i'm in the room um more flushable wipes i got a bigger case i realized like girl you gonna be like healing for a minute and a lot of people don't wear panties with their fahas and stuff so i'm like okay i'm gonna need some wipes and yeah so i got some wipes <sighs> then people were using voice pads people was using this on the you know on the part you know where your faha where you don't wear panties and a lot of people was using it on their incisions so i'll just see you know what i'll use it for but i just got it because this was like number a lot of people had this on their post-op list i got some puppy pads from dollar tree i didn't get much because a lot of people said they ended up not using puppy pads and that they didn't drain that much and i am getting local anesthetic so i did hear when you go under awake liposuction that you bleed a bit less you drain a bit less and this is just what I'm hearing. So I just got a couple, not too much. So that should help put it in my car on the way back, put it on my bed. I did get a urinal because they said that it's gonna just be easy, you know, for the, for, for the first like couple of days to be able to just stand up and use the bathroom. You don't wanna be, um, 
you don't want to be so this is the urinal you don't want to be um sitting down every time because you have to use your stomach muscles to get up and it's going to be painful then i have organic and vegan protein powder so this is plant-based um it's very important after surgery that you fill up on protein protein helps your body heal and recover and it's just a great supplement to have so i'm going to be taking um, i'm going to be drinking protein shakes in the morning with bananas and peanut butter and it'll be good so also have some airplugs so if you guys don't know people actually use airplugs in their belly button after liposuction so you could prevent that lipo belly button you know that long skinny belly button so a lot of people use earplugs in their um belly button to prevent a collapsed belly button and that's tea two shower liners these was 90 cents at walmart i will have one in my car for when i get back from surgery it'll be in the passenger i'm not driving then one on my bed okay so this will just prevent also just drainage and you can't shower for you know a few days so i did get this i'll probably fill this with my antibacterial soap some water you know spray some parts you know wipe down little little baths i don't know i just got it i seen it i was like i could use that one of my favorite things that i got i already drink a lot of water but they do suggest that you drink a gallon a day you know after your surgery and even before so i definitely am going to be drinking this this will help you get through your full gallon i drink a lot of water a day but i don't know if i drink a gallon a day so this will really help me know that i'm drinking a gallon and i got this on amazon for like 16 dollars it's too cute get to the really important stuff and then this is pretty much everything i do have lipo foams lipo foams is going to be so important for the compression after my liposuction you have to compress okay so my doctor will have a faha when i get there they give you two fahas so you know when i leave surgery i will be in the faha you have an ab board i got all of this on amazon okay so Here's my ab board. So this also helps with compression. You put this under your faha and it's lit. I also have a backboard that actually comes in the mail today from Amazon. So I unfortunately um, don't have that with me. It's supposed to come today in the mail. So you're gonna need um, backboard for compression and it helps your shape. And I do have an ab board then last but not least i did go to walmart and get some comfy sports bras because i'm getting liposuction on my back so i wanted like some comfy bras i know like the wire bras probably will hurt so i have camis black camis from walmart these are so important under your faha because you don't want to get faha burns so i have camis I have a nice thin black robe which i was sleeping i have my faja on and just have this over it um, I also bought a black robe from Fashion Nova that I'll wear to my surgery. You just want to go in very light, not a lot of clothes. So that is mostly everything that I need for my liposuction. Hopefully this can help again, guys. So I'm, it's probably going to take forever for me to link everything in the description. So just know that I got everything from Amazon, Dollar Tree, and Walmart. Okay, so if you see anything you like, just Google it. The ab, the lipo foams, that's on Amazon and the ad board. Um, I got it on Amazon. It was like $18. I don't even know the brand. I just went off the reviews and, you know, find yourself a good ad board. And I love you guys. So hopefully this was helpful. And again, if you guys see me missing anything, comment it down below. Love you guys. 42, getting lit off a of zoo, zoo. I'm outside in the zoo, the zoo.